Hello, my name is Caroline Middlebrook and you are watching the video version of the ebook Developing Money Making Websites with WordPress. This first video is going to show you how to install the WordPress software on your blog. Now I use Bluehost for this particular video and the reason for that is quite simply that Bluehost has been my hosting provider for over a year, that they've all I've ever used. Um, they allow you to have um, an unlimited number of domains under the one account. You just pay the one hosting fee per month. It doesn't matter how many domains you have. So I use Bluehost for my main blog and for all the other little sites that I've set up since. So I'm going to log in here via the control panel. Okay, I'm now logged in to the Bluehost control panel. Now one thing I'd like to point out here is that Bluehost use software called cPanel version 11. Any host that uses cPanel is going to have a setup that is similar to this. So you can use these instructions for any host, it doesn't just have to be Bluehost. Now if I scroll down here there is a particular piece of software which makes installing things easy. Over here, now in my ebook version of this I use this Fantastico Deluxe which allows you to install various pieces of software but Bluehost have told me now that that has been superseded by Simple Scripts and in actual fact the Simple Scripts software is a lot easier to use than Fantastico was. So again have a check with your provider they should have either Fantastico or Simple Scripts. If it's this one you can use the instructions in this video if it's Fantastico then go back to my ebook version. I'm going to click on this Now what I'm looking at here um, is it tells me that I've already got an install here for a new blog which I've set up. Hopefully I'll already announce that by the time that this video is released. Now this is all the software which is supported um, by Simple Scripts and of course we've got WordPress here and it's the latest version 2.6 which I hope is still the latest when I install this. So to make a new installation we simply click on WordPress. and then just click on install now. Okay now it's asking me where it wants to install WordPress. Now if you've got more than one installation already set up on your host like I have then you've got to be very careful here. If I was to install by default here I would overwrite my blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in another address. Now for this particular site which I'm going to set up it's going to be about cigars. So I'm going to call it something like Cigar Heaven. So that just creates a new directory. Give it a name. Um, yes, you want it to generate you an administrator login and your database for you. You have to click down here to say that you've read the terms and conditions and that you agree to them. And then click on complete. Now it examines the file structure and does some stuff. This can take a little while so I'm probably going to pause while this completes. Okay, now once that's all done it says congratulations and then just quite simply click here to view your site. As you can see it's really simple. Okay, I'm now looking at the new site which is Cigar Heaven and what this has done is it's placed it in a directory after my main blog. Now what I will show you to do later on in the video is how to change this so that it actually goes to a domain um, but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to leave it here because I don't actually want a cigar website and I'm not going to bother setting up a domain for it. Um, by default the WordPress theme gives you this meta section here which allows you to log in. If you click on that that's going to give you your um, administration area here. I'm going to log into that and then I'll come back and show you the administration sections in the next video.